Okay, I'm going to give this a shot. I'm not very good at uh, videos, but probably why I haven't posted anything. I hope this helps you. I've already gone through and done most of this to save a little time, but I'll explain as I go along. First of all, I made I made a base folder. I have base texture set, blender files, livery one, original textures, and text converter. This te text converter comes from blender itself, but there shouldn't be anything in here, although I already have stuff in here. Don't worry about livery one yet. I'll explain that later. Anyways, I'm going to open up blender. Oh, uh, to make things easy, I just moved the SWS aircraft Kodiak file on my desktop so I don't have to go through all that stuff and waste time. So let's go back to this. When you open up blender, click on the screen. Get rid of all this stuff. You don't need it. And it will just get in the way and mingle with the rest of the stuff. Um, you're going to go up here to edit. Go down here to preferences. Okay. And in the preferences, you want to go down here to the um, um, importer. And you want to twirl this open. As you can see, these three things down here are populated. I don't want that. The easiest way to get rid of that is to untwirl this and just close it. Uncheck mark it and then recheck mark it again. Then you can twirl this back open. As you can see, they're all blank. The first one is it tells you about you can download this text converter. What this text converter does is it converts all the DDS files into a PNG file and puts it in a folder of your choice. So the path to the text converter, where you're going to put it when you download it. I'm going to select to go to the desktop and I'm going to go down to my Kodiak file and I've got a thing here called text converter and that's where I put the text converter. I can open that up, click on a text converter and then go accept. I put them in all my templates. It's just easy. Some, some folks put it in somewhere on a computer and they have to go find it. Anyways, the next is the path to the converted files. In other words, where you want this text converter to put those files. So I'm going to open this up. It's going to give me this screen. Again, desktop. I'm going to go down here to my Kodiak uh, file that I set up. Open that up. And I have base texture set, blender set, and so forth. I'm going to put it here where it says original textures. That's where I want the files to go to. So I can just click on that and then accept it. All right, I mean, I need to open that up and then hit accept. But that's anyways. Um, if I open that now, uh, you can see it's already populated, so I don't need it. I'm just going to cancel this out. But then the next one down here would be the path for the root level. As you can see, I put the Kodiak file on the desktop. Now I already went through this and I tried to do it on the Tundra, Tundra and whatever's going on all I got was just the two um, uh, uh, darn it I can't think this morning. I just got two files and it didn't work. So anyways I went back and did the wheeled uh, non-CP I guess the one at the very top. So anyways again you twirl this open you open up your um, uh, go to your desktop or wherever you're going to have your main folder at. And uh, here's the SWS aircraft. And I'm going to open that up, go to sim objects, go to airplanes. Uh, I use this one up here at the top, the Kodiak. Open that up. And again, I'm going to go to the empty. There's nothing in these other ones. So if you go to the empty, and um, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm doing this. I'm messing all this up. We want the textures. So all you need is the root level. So if we go to the desktop, back to Kodiak again. Where am I at here? Uh, SWS, go to the sim objects, airplanes, Kodiak gear. That's as far as you need to go, right to there. And then they hit accept. That tells it where all the textures or files are at that it needs to go. All right, I'm going to cancel that and close out because I've already done this part. Once you get all that done and, and these guys are set, close out of that, you've got all the stuff cleared off the desktop. And when I drew that box, I just grabbed everything on the screen and deleted it. So there's nothing on the desktop. Go to File, 
um, go down here to import and go to your importer app click on that all right so now we're gonna again navigate to where the Kodak's at you you probably know how to do this part of it but I'll go through it I'm gonna go down here to um, oh no okay, darn it I'm really messing things see why I don't do videos uh, go to the come on file import there we go okay desktop uh, I'm gonna go to the SWS there it is and the sim objects airplanes um, yeah I'm gonna go down to the Kodiak gear I'm gonna go to model empty and I'm gonna select the first one up here zero zero you can do it with the load one but the, it's not as good of a set yeah I have to do with that with the husky because it only has a load one and everything's encrypted anyways I would hit the import button and it's going to take a while. If it does it really quick and her model shows up, you did something wrong. Go back and do it all over again. That's what I had to do the first time I tried this. I want to cancel out of this because I've already done this. And I'm going to close Blender because I already have it set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Blender. Now you will have had that model come up. And what you're going to get is you're going to get this. This is going to come up on screen. You can have all these hairs, you can have these bones, and all this stuff that you don't need. What I do at this point, after I've looked and checked into my Kodiak folder, and I've gone to my original set, and you see there's all my textures, all in PNGs for me. I don't have to convert them, they're all done. It's everything I need to populate that airplane. So I'll close that back out, come back up here. Now, if you want to see the airplane right off the bat, how it's supposed to look, where are the textures, here's some important stuff. Up here in this corner, right here, if you can see my arrow, um, I had a thing that highlighted my arrow. It's not highlighting for some reason. If you go to the second button over and click on it, it should populate that whole airplane with all the proper textures. See, there it goes. It's loading up. It's going to load up the temperatures. It takes a while, especially if there's a lot of textures. So what it's doing is just putting all the textures and making them all visible for you. And a lot of this stuff that looks weird, it's frost layers. There's things here, I'm using the mouse button to move around, but there's things here that you don't need. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up these two little guys here, this, this little visibility thing. And here's a list of all the extras that are shown that you don't need. I don't need the annotations. When it says annotation, it's usually stuff up in this corner. And anyways, you can play with that. I don't want the floor, and I don't want the X and Y axis. Not on the layout, anyways. I got rid of that. I'm going to get rid of the 3D cursor. I'm going to get rid of the annotations. Bones are gone. Motion paths are gone. Origins are gone. The extras are gone. Relationship lines are gone. The only thing I have left is outline select and the text info, which is right there. So now you can see I got a pretty clean little model right here. Now I don't know what's going on with this black. This is a there's a there's like an anti-collision type thing that's in there. So if you click on it, you look up here. It's this drone collision. I don't want that, so I'm just going to delete it. It's gone. Right here, you can see this weird-looking stuff. That's your frost layer. I'm going to click on that. Fuselage frost. Gone. Um, up here, in the, then, and there's usually some back here on the tail. If I click on that, look up here, just tail left. Maybe not. Kodiak icing tail. There it is. Delete. Get rid of that. Anywhere that there's going to be icing showing up, there's nothing up there. I don't see. I'm just clicking on things to make sure that I got rid of the icing stuff. I'm seeing weird things here and there. It looks like I got it all. I may not have it. Up oh, there's the landing gear icing. Get rid of that landing gear icing. It should have got rid of both sides. I don't know if I got rid of it up front. I'm going to look. Nope, nose gear icing. So I'll get rid of the nose gear looks like I got it now I got icing up here I don't need the path so I can get rid of that don't need this one I can get rid of that 
Uh, there's icing on the nose cone. I can delete that icing. Uh, so the only thing I left is the spinner slow and, st and the still one. There's two of them here. So I'll leave those. Some people get rid of the props. I don't. There's a blurred. And then there's the prop icing. Aha, uh -huh, get rid of the prop icing. It looks like I got to do that to each one. Yep, icing on two. Uh, icing on blade there and uh, icing there too. All right, I got rid of the icing. I pretty much got to clean. These decals, if you want to get rid of them, go ahead and get rid of them. I'm going to get rid of them right now. You don't need them uh, because you're not going to be putting anything in there. Uh, so I'm going to delete those. They're gone. Uh, that looks like it's painted in. There's other decals around here and different layers and stuff. Basically, get rid of what you want to. There's glass here. You don't need the windshield. Delete the windshield. Uh, there's a window windshield pilot. Delete that. Uh, there's glass. Kodiak fuse slide forward. Is there glass in here? Must not be. There's nothing in the door. As you can see what I'm doing, I'm going around and I'm looking. There's a windshield cockpit. I'm going to get rid of that. Is there a windshield here? Uh, no. Doesn't look like it. All right. I think I got everything out of here that I want to get rid of out of here. All right. Now, that's pretty much set up. That's the way I want my model to show up when I open Blender. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to my file and I'm going to save my blend file right now so I don't have to go through that all again and that's my blend file I, you can name it if you want and I usually do I'm just for the sake of the video so I'm going to save that again so what should happen now is if I exit out of here I should be able to go down here and hit blender it'll show up as untitled right top left click on that and boom there's my model That'll open that way every time unless I change position. I change something over here. Whatever I do, if I save the blend file, it will change how this appears. Next thing I do is I go back to the I go to the model section. Although I don't model, and I do the same thing. I get rid of all this stuff that's not needed. The floor, the, the 3D cursor, all these little things. Okay? So if that gives you an idea what I'm doing here. And then again, you can save it at that point or you can go to the next section, which is sculpting. The only thing in sculpting that's up here is the extras. So I get rid of that, okay? UV editing, you will use this area on UV editing. So I kind of do the same thing here. I'm going to move my little window over here and make things a little bit smaller so that I have a bigger picture of my UV stuff come up here and use the hand and I'll move the airplane over it a little bit again I'm gonna go through I'm gonna get rid of all the crap that I don't need the floor X Y and Z um, the 3d extras relationship lines motion motion paths and all that stuff I don't need that that's all I need right there okay now I'm gonna move on to my texture paint again I'm going to make this smaller, and I want a bigger window here. All right, and you see I've got the bones again. There's all them bones and all that stuff. That's this little menu right here. Get rid of, I, I keep the floor and the XYZ here. Get rid of the 3D cursor, uh, bones, motion, origins, extras, relationship lines. Uh, a lot of people will keep the 3D cursor going because what that does is put a little, um, or not the 3D cursor, hold on. Um, it's the origin. Maybe it is the 3D cursor. Anyways, you get a little uh, a little circle up here where you can move around and you can you can turn your aircraft to that. And I I should use it. I don't use it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just trying to show you here what I'm doing. Anyways, this is about how I would like my texture painting window set up. All I'm doing right now is setting up my windows and getting everything the way I want it. I use nodes a lot, so my next step would be to the shader. 
and I go up into the shader and do the same thing. Get rid of the stuff that I don't want showing. I'll leave the HDRI. That's, that's this background. Um, oh, come on. Get rid of the bones. Get rid of the extras. Get rid of the... I'm good there. Text and the outline and that. That's just the way I like it. I set things up a little differently on my windows, but that might be a little bit too much for you right now. Don't worry about this. But now that I'm all done, I've gone through those, and those are the only the windows I care about. I'll go back to layout, and I'll go up here to file, and I will save my blender. Now that's basically the way I want everything up, set up. I'll go further, but at this point, what I'll do is I'll go down to my Kodiak, whatever my template is, I'll go into my blend files and I will grab these two files right here and I will make a copy and put them up into the backup. So now if I screw up, make sure I got them in there. Yep, they're in there. So now what's going to happen, let's say that I have the airplane this way. And let's say that I'm over in this thing here and I don't know what that is or I'm down here. And if I save that, if I make a mistake and I come up here and instead of saving, uh, let's go to texture paint. Okay, let's say I'm here instead of my texture painting stuff and here. If I go up here where it says image, you'll have an asterisk next to it and that will tell you that you made some kind of change to your image. And Blender will not save those images. I will go to the image and save it. If I go to the um, file and I go save at this point, it saves exactly what's there. You might come back in and go, uh-oh, what do I do now? Well, you've got those backup Blender files that you saved, and it will reset this to where it's supposed to be. You might lose a little bit of your painting and stuff, and have to go back and redo it, but it will reset everything to the, exactly the way you had your template set up. Okay, I hope that helps in this part. This is probably getting long, so I'm going to come back in and I'm going to do another video. I'm going to return to the layer. I'm going to put this back. I'm not going to save anything because I got it the way I want it. I saved that originally, and I'll exit. Once you go through it, you got everything set up, you can always go back in, open your blender up, open up your, your blend file, and check it. And if it repopulates like that, you're fine. you got everything set up. You're ready to go. You can do whatever you need to to that airplane. Okay? Hopefully that helps. That, that'll be done with a basic one, and I'll do another one here shortly to see how I set up so that I can do multiple liveries. Okay? Here we go.